This tutorial will show you how to use Agent Software to collect and display data from LC2 data loggers. Topics covered in this tutorial include Program Overview, Adding Projects and Data Loggers, Logging Data, Downloading Data, and Charts. The times shown in parentheses can be used to locate a specific topic within the tutorial. Before installing Agent onto a computer, verify that it is running Windows 7, 8, or 10 on a 32 or 64 bit operating system, and that it has at least 1 GB of RAM available during runtime. To enable the LC2 to communicate with the PC, it may be necessary to install USB drivers from the Geocon website. Go to geocon.com slash software and download the file titled USB drivers for Geocon devices. Connect the LC2 to the computer using the factory supplied cable. For information on the installation of LC2 data loggers, consult the product instruction manual. Projects are at the top of the program's hierarchy and are used to organize LC2 data loggers into groups. Each LC2 can have multiple sensors and charts assigned to it. Sensors import data collected by the LC2 and charts display data imported by the sensors. The menu on the left allows the user to navigate through the various screens that are available at the current level of the hierarchy. As the program is navigated, the items in the menu will change accordingly. To create a new project, click Add Project on the left side of the screen. Give the project a name and then add a description if desired. Click Save when finished. After the project has been created, it will be added to the project list. This list can be accessed at any time by clicking on Projects at the top of the screen. To add an LC2 to a project, select the desired project, then click Add LC2 on the left side of the screen. Start by giving the data logger a name. If communication with the LC2 will be established using an external network device, enter the device URL or IP address into the COM port or internet address field. IP addresses must be followed by a colon and then the port number. If communication to the LC2 will be accomplished through a cable, type COM into the COM port or internet address field to open a list of active communication ports. Then select the COM port the LC2 is using. If the correct COM port does not display in agent, Close the program, make sure the LC2 has power and the cable connection is secure, and then try again. In most cases, connections using an RS-232 cable will use COM1, but may utilize COM2 or COM3 if the computer has more than one internal serial port. To determine which COM port a USB cable is using, click Start, and then type Device into the search box. Next, click on Device Manager in the Control Panel list. In Device Manager, click on the small triangle next to Ports, COM, and LPT to open a list of active COM ports. Disconnect and then reconnect the USB cable to the computer. The COM port the LC2 is using will disappear and then reappear on the list. The 9600 baud rate is the factory default setting and only needs to be changed if the user has set the LC2 to communicate at the alternative baud rate of 115200. After selecting a baud rate, click the Connect to LC2 button. Agent will attempt to connect to the data logger. Once the connection has been established, Agent will automatically navigate 
to a screen that shows the general LC2 settings. Enter the serial number of the LC2. This is not required, but it is recommended to make it easy to differentiate one LC2 from another when there are multiple data loggers on one project. Enter a description for the LC2 if desired. Then click Save. The LC2 will not collect data from internal or external sensors until logging has been initiated by the agent program. To start logging data, click Commands. Next, click Set Logger Time to overwrite the date and time information stored on the logger with the local time and date. Click Start Logging to have the LC2 begin logging data. The status field will now display logging to show that the LC2 is logging data. The interval at which readings occur can be changed using the interval screen. By default, the LC2 will take a reading every 60 seconds. For information on setting the logging intervals, please refer to the Agent Instruction Manual. The data being logged by the LC2 may be viewed as it is collected by using what is known as Monitor Mode. To enable Monitor Mode, click on the name of the LC2 to return to the main LC2 menu, and then click Download. Next, click on Enable Monitor Mode. Sensor readings taken by the LC2 will be displayed on the lower half of the screen as they occur. Click Disable Monitor Mode to stop viewing the readings. Note that this does not stop the logger from taking readings. It only stops Agent from displaying them as they happen. Readings that are displayed using Monitor Mode will not be saved to the Agent database until they are downloaded from the LC2. Data will only be collected from the LC2 when a data download occurs. Downloads can be initiated manually or set to occur automatically. When automatic download is enabled, Agent will automatically download data from the LC2 at specified times or intervals. If automatic download is disabled, Agent will only download data when the user initiates a manual download. To perform an immediate one-time download of new data from the LC2, click on the blue download arrow. Agent will navigate to the download screen. Click the download button to begin downloading. Agent will download all new data collected since the previous download occurred. To enable automatic download, navigate to the LC2 settings. Then click Download Schedule on the left side of the screen. Check the box next to Enable Automatic Download. To set the automatic download to occur at specific times, click the Download at Specified Times button. Times must be entered in 24-hour format. For example, 3.30 p.m. would be entered as 15 colon 30. Click the plus sign to add the time that was entered to the list of download times. To remove a time from the list, click the minus sign. To set the automatic download to occur at scheduled intervals, click the Download at a Scheduled Interval button. Enter a start time in 24-hour format and an interval in minutes. The interval is required. The start time is optional. When finished editing the automatic download settings, click Save. Sensors created inside the agent program 
Import data collected by LC2 data loggers. Charts display the data imported by the sensors as a graph. Therefore, sensors must be added to a chart before it will display any data. If automatic download is enabled, charts will automatically update each time data is downloaded from the LC2. Otherwise, the charts will be static and will only update when the user performs a manual download. To create a chart, select a project, then select the LC2 the chart will be created for. Next, click Chart Settings on the left side of the screen, and then click Add Chart. Enter a name for the chart in the Edit Chart dialog box. Then click OK to create the chart. Charts that have been added to a device will be shown in the Chart Settings screen. To add sensors to a chart, click on the chart name, and then click Add Sensor. Select the sensor from the list to add, and then click OK. Once the sensor has been added to a chart, it will be shown in the Chart Settings screen beneath the chart name. To view a chart, click View Charts on the left side of the screen. All the charts associated with the device will be shown. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information on installing and using LC2 data loggers, refer to the product instruction manual, which can be accessed within the agent program by clicking on the question mark at the top of the screen. Please check out the other tutorials available at geocon.com.